today we are upgrading my dirt bike to 48 volts and it's gonna go fast. What up YouTube? Today we're overvolting this Razor scooter from 36 volts to 48 volts just using a controller, battery, and sprocket. And we're hoping to take this thing to almost 30 miles an hour for only about 150 bucks. All right, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Step one, get you a Razor bike or two. Next, you're gonna wanna go on eBay and order this Razor MX650 Razor Overvolt Kit. All right, this is the Metro throttle and controller. And you're also gonna need the 48 volt charger. The standard Razor is only rated for 36, uh, 36 volts. Go on Amazon, get you a 13 tooth sprocket and get yourself another 12 volt battery. We're using the Mighty Max 15 amp hour batteries. All right, we need to take these plastics off in order to get to the battery. Whole bunch of hidden little uh, Allen bolts. Let's get them all off and get to the battery. All right, to get these plastics off, we had to use a 10 mil wrench underneath here to these Allen bolts. Two there, one hidden right here on this bad boy. Top. All right, that gets the upper body plastic off. This guy has six little uh, Phillips head screws. All right, the battery cover off. We had three wires connected to this side. All right, charger port on off, and I think some kind of throttle control. Those bad boys came off. Let's get into the next up. All right, next up, we're gonna disconnect all these wires from the controller, cut these zip ties, remove the old handle, and remove the old handle and throttle. Get it. All right, we took the throttle off. I think there was four things connected to this bad boy. Throttle cable is gone. We don't need a throttle, it's over there. I labeled the left and right brake sensor, and then we got our motor cable just dangling. If I was you, I would label them with tape just in case. All right, we just got the new throttle in, ran the wire down through there, had to bend the brakes up. Be careful with this little set screw. She's delicate, I might have stripped mine. But yeah, once again, I labeled my throttle there. Time to get into the fun part. All right, we're here at the fun part and we gotta make a decision. This guy does not fit in this way. So, it's either we cut a hole in the plastic and do it this way, or I'm gonna try cutting right here, right here, and then do horizontal stack. So I got three batteries as I'm trying to hold this GoPro. One, two, three this way. Hopefully it uh, lines up. I'm about to find out. All right, before I get too far ahead of myself, I hooked up the controller just to make sure everything's in working order. All these bad boys were clearly labeled, so I should turn this throttle on. Yep, got over the 36 volts. Now time to figure out exactly how we're mounting the next battery. On to the fun part. We're doing a vertical stack. So we got batteries one, two, we're gonna do three, four. Here is my kindergartner drawing, all right? So basically it's gonna run up this way, all right? So we have our minus on the actual plug, plus minus plus minus right here. I have to add a wire. So this is going positive, negative, plus minus to that top one, which leaves me with just plus left. I do the positive terminal plus, and then I'm good to go. Hopefully it all works. All right, we took a Sawzall, cut this little bracket out, the elbow blades went through like butter. Now we're gonna do our three vertical stack of batteries. All right, I got the four batteries mounted up. I'm just gonna probably use cardboard and some foam. My genius diagram, turn on the key, should have power. There we go. 52.7 volts, if you can see that. I gotta somehow pick this bike up gently, test the motor. It works, baby. All right, now to use a million ratchet straps, I mean, I'm sorry, a million zip ties or ratchet straps to secure this battery, let's figure it out. All right, I ended up just using a million zip ties to secure these three batteries on here. I used some uh, Amazon cardboard boxes to kind of uh, fill up all the space that was there. I tried the ratchet strap. It was super tight, almost too tight, but the problem was it wrapped underneath this whole thing. So when I went to put the housing on, it, it was, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. So, and also I ended up having to cut this plastic housing. All right, you can, I'm sure you can use a Sawzall. I used a multi-tool, I kind of just cut it out. So now it fits. Um, the reason why I use the zip ties is because there was this little hole for where the uh, uh, Allen bolt used to go to secure the housing on. And uh, you know, it just, it just worked out better for me, so. All right, we got the plastic back on. 
testing the charger, make sure it's all charging like it's supposed to. This switch is no longer functional because we now have a key ignition. Um, I did use a whole bunch of zip ties to re-secure this because there was still a little gap. I might trim up some more plastic, but you really can't tell. And I'm a firm believer in duct tape and zip, and, uh, zip ties. You guys ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. I want to install this 13 tooth sprocket take off the little guard with two Phillips to get this chain off you're going to want to pull this sprocket there's a sprocket somewhere in here hopefully you can see you pull that down take the chain off you need a 10 millimeter you need a 10 millimeter wrench behind it 12 millimeter socket this is a reverse thread so it's left tighten righty loosey all right so i'm going to spin it right take this off install the new sprocket all right, we got the new sprocket on. Make sure the little raised edge is on the outside. Adjust your chain tensioner right there. Give it a couple spins. Make sure it's good to go. Time to put this guard on and send it. Ready? You ready to get smoked? Get a top speed test with a 185 pound dude on the bike. All right, YouTube, I just wanted to show everyone how easy it is to overvolt one of these Razor MX650s. You know, you can find these things dirt cheap on the internet for like a hundred bucks. Just replace the batteries and then you got yourself a pit bike for under a couple hundred bucks.